coffee tight It's gonna be a long, long day It's a creative soul I have And yes, yeah, sometimes It's a week of music, painting, and some photography here in downtown Savannah, Georgia. And we're gonna take you behind the scenes with us. Plus, you get to meet our new puppy, Sugar. It's an artist's life I lead, yeah, to me it's not a game. Are you going off my mountains? <laughs> you know, the problem with sharing on the internet is people want you to teach them something, right? And I get that. But I'm not, just don't know how you teach someone to be an artist. I can only do it, be it, share it. Because it's such a complex concept. It's living in faith that things will work out. It's a big part of it. It's knowing that you're going to do a lot of work for nothing. Knowing that some people are going to get it. Some people are not going to get it. Knowing that you're just not a fit for everyone. But counting on the fact that you're a fit for folks who really like what you do. <laughs> Being an artist is not what you create. It's how you survive in a lot of ways. And so, yeah, I, d I don't know how to teach this is how you be an artist. I don't know how you do that. Uh, I can only be it, share it. Uh, it's the only way I know to do it. Walking along beneath the lights of that miracle mile Me and Mary making our way into the night You can hear the crash and the carnival rise The pinball bells and the ski ball slides Watching the summer sun fall out of sight There's a warm wind coming in off of the ocean making its way past the hotel walls to fill the street the mary's holding both of her shoes in her hand says she likes to feel the sand beneath her feet and in the morning i'm leaving making my way back to cleveland so tonight i hope i will do just and I don't see how you could ever be anything but mine. I think there's hot sauce on your face from your chicken sandwich. I might. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Heading to Margaritaville, y'all. Little granola bar breakfast. Out the door to Oakety, South Carolina, Hilton Head area. Gonna be playing at Sun City. Now I'm over to Richmond Hill, Georgia. Going to Flashback. Awesome little bar over there. Got great food. Supporters of live music, so you gotta love it. And uh, Jennifer was kind enough to make me a sandwich for the road, so. It'll be a good night. be an artist, and I don't mean just to be artsy and have a real job, I mean to be a professional artist who makes their entire living off of 
their own instinct, is to work constantly. It's a relentless pursuit, but it's not about commercial success, although we've had our fair share. It's introspective, and yet you have to put it all out there. It comes with fear and anxiety, and yet we do it anyway. Every time I step on a stage and start to sing, I'm conquering that fear. Headed to Margaritaville, y'all, over in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Playing from 12 to 3 today, just a solo gig. Excited about that, because I play here pretty often. Got a lot of kind folks over there who show up and support, right? It's funny, because I recently had a couple of musicians mention to me, Man, you really leapfrogged here on the Savannah scene when it comes to music. Where'd you find all these opportunities? So, I mean, I have like five gigs booked this week. And there's a couple little things that I did that made all the difference in the world. Number one, started filming some of my performances, putting little video reels out there. Other local musicians saw them, said, man, really love the work you're doing. I happen to be booked. Would you, would you like this opportunity? How awesome is that, right? Local musicians giving me support. But I think also it's the fact that I've been out supporting other local musicians. I show up to the gigs when I'm not booked myself, show them support. And then I go out to open mics all the time. In fact, I recently produced a story on savannahproper.com, which is an online magazine that I've kind of been propagating and creating that shares stories on art and culture and interesting people and the music scene here in Savannah. And again, another way to give back to the community that's giving me so much, right? And I created an, a story on open mics because I see so many people asking online, are there any open mics in Savannah? And I quite honestly know a lot of musicians who are incredibly talented but they don't go out and support other musicians. They don't go to open mics, and then they wonder why they don't have the support and the opportunities coming their way. And so those are the two simple things that I would say. Share your talents with the world via video and go out and actually give support because I guarantee it'll come back tenfold. the sugar dog y'all her name is sugar we rescued her i don't know a couple months ago she's only five months old and uh so we've been having a lot of fun taking her out to forsyth park and taking her out and just socializing her as much as possible unfortunately to get her we had to lose one of the loves of our life little hound who's a little black lab rescue which you'll see in a bunch of our other vlog posts and videos and uh, I actually wrote a song called Rescue Dog that you can, it's coming out at some point soon on Spotify and Apple Music. I'm not sure which month I'll release it this year, but it's a pretty little song. I've been playing it out at a lot of my gigs and I tell the story of how I got this new puppy but had to lose one 
in order to get her and it brings a, quite a few people to tears. Uh, people really have an affection for their dogs and you know we're certainly the same. Life is full of ups and downs but the creativity somehow grounds me. Our lives are in constant motion and staying busy distracts me from the challenges. When I'm not creating for others, the pursuit continues, regardless of how many people see it or take notice. I'm a work in progress. Every day I get a little bit better. Every day I evolve. And I just try my best to live in gratitude. And somehow, it all finds a way to work out. She loves like a best friend does.